Happening right now uh, for this body camera footage was released in the wake of a domestic violence shooting that killed a mother and her young son. Today, the Sanford police chief wanted to make sure his department was transparent during this investigation after some confusion over what happened leading up to that shooting. News 6 reporter Vanessa Ariza just spoke with Sanford police. And Vanessa, what was the confusion about regarding the video and 911 calls released late last week? Julie, the chief basically opened up this press conference mentioning another news outlet and their misreporting on this story last week when those 911 calls and the body cam video was released Friday afternoon. Now, he said that those 911 calls that were made to police, those were from a third party. During this press conference, the chief showed us a few clips that he wanted to highlight. He says they have worked to be very clear about what took place that night, how things led up to the shooting. In that body cam video, you can hear one of the police officers on the phone with a third party person who is making the 911 calls. At one point, you even hear the police officer telling that caller there are more elements to this situation. Take a listen to what one of the things the chief had to say. The officers reached out to the third party person, asking that third party person to come in and be part of the investigation, at least by giving us that additional information and possibly assisting her with signing a complaint if that is the allegation that she made to them. There were a number of clips that the chief wanted to highlight in that press conference that just let out within the past 10 minutes. So we're going to go through those clips. We're going to bring you them and show them to you coming up later in our newscast. And the chief also touched a little bit on the investigation and that AK-47. We now know who it was registered to. We'll tell you the details and bring them to you later on in the newscast. Julie. All right, Vanessa. Thank you. Vanessa Ariza reporting live.